So one great thing about being a Tata Fellow is that we're doing research that is targeted at people in the developing world and we also get the opportunity to interact with them very frequently. In uh, many areas of research I think we see a lot of great science that has great academic value, great educational value, but stops in the lab because of the difficulty in, in, in bridging the gap and translating into practice. So I think something we learn from the Tata Center is how to adapt our research process to have uh, a, a that long-term view in mind. The ability for for the participants, for the fellows, to spend a month or two months in the field in the summer and to be able to go multiple times per year uh, is, is pretty unique and, and pretty important to, to really being able to make the impact that they want to make. Yeah, what strikes me about the Tata Center approach is that it's extremely multidisciplinary and so they really try to create teams that have both a systems approach where they're kind of understanding the big system at large and then you have the technical approach where um, they foster technical growth and kind of intermingling amongst different technical disciplines. The nature of the problem is interdisciplinary so your, your team must reflect the nature of the problem otherwise you have a disconnect. So in our design workshop in Hubli, we had uh, designed three different types of exercises with farmers to try and get three different sort of types of information. Each of us applied our skills to a certain phase of the workshop and because we had such different experiences and different backgrounds, it enabled us to sort of get the most out of that exercise individually. It's this really great interface amongst among, of a lot of different disciplines from the social sciences to the technical sciences that ultimately leads to great projects. Mm -hmm.